Welcome to Art Chat. I'm Miss Anne, and today I'll share a little art history and help you discover a famous artist. We'll talk about the way this artist painted, and then you'll create some artwork of your own. First, I'll give you a few hints to see if you can guess who the artist is. He was born in Wyoming in 1912 and later studied and lived in New York. He is well known for his large action and drip paintings and is called an abstract expressionist. So did you guess who the artist is? His name is Jackson Pollock and he was a great modern artist who was most active during the 1940s and 50s. He had quite a background growing up the youngest of five brothers in wide open Arizona and California. He even helped his dad while he was surveying the Grand Canyon. He said those big views in nature influenced his work. He studied art in high school in Los Angeles, but he had a hard time drawing. So he turned to painting and more abstract artwork. He followed his brother to New York in 1930 and took classes at the Art Students League there. Thomas Hart Benton was his mentor, and he helped him with murals for the WPA during the Great Depression. At a workshop, he learned about mixing and experimenting with paints, even spray painting, and he continued working on his artwork, influenced by Native American sand painters, surrealists, muralists, and the great Picasso. Jackson Pollock helped lead the abstract expressionism movement. It's known for its use of active painting with bold colors and shapes mixed together with a lot of movement by the artist to create the artwork. Let's take a look at some of his paintings. It's always fun to actually go to an art museum, but if we can't do that, we can visit online virtually. Can you find a wolf in this painting? The she-wolf was painted in 1943 and hangs at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. It's where Jackson Pollock had his first solo art show. Look at all those bright colors and shapes. What do you see in the painting? Peggy Guggenheim of the Guggenheim Museum asked Jackson Pollock in the early 1940s to paint something for her townhouse. The result was his largest painting and when he began using more of his drip and action painting techniques. The painting has most recently been restored and preserved and is wrapping up a worldwide tour. Lavender Mist hangs at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. and was painted in 1950 on Jackson's barn floor. One critic said on the canvas was not a picture, but an event. He was becoming more controversial and popular, especially after an article was published in Life magazine. The painting looks lavender, but it actually doesn't have any lavender paint in it. He even signed it with his handprints. Locally, you can see more Jackson Pollock paintings hanging at the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston. If you can't make it there, look for his artwork in books and online. As the art world became busier in New York City, Jackson Pollock and his wife, artist Lee Krausner, decided to live on Long Island in a farmhouse. The story goes that there was a bedroom studio in the house for Lee, but outside, Jackson used the barn. They promised each other they would only go to each other's studios by invitation. Today, the house and barn are on the National Register for Historic Places, and people can see the barn floor with its layers and layers of paint dripped as Jackson moved and painted, almost dancing around his wonderful canvases. That's a whole lot of dribble splat drip. But it's not that simple. Here on Life Magazine's website at life.com, there's a collection of photos showing how Jackson painted. He did more than dribble and splat paint. He once said, the painting has a life of its own. I try to let it come through. He had a method and the only way that you could really understand that is if you tried it for yourself. So let's create something of our own and try it out. Here are my first attempts at Pollock painting on construction paper. It was good practice and fun to layer the paint and use different tools. You can also paint a Pollock using marbles and paint. Use a spoon to drop them on paper inside the top of a box and roll it around. Here are the supplies that you need. You'll need something to put on the floor or table to cover it with while you paint. Then grab some construction paper that's black or white. You'll also need 
some paint brushes, and you can even use a hard one. That's what Jackson Pollock did. Also washable paint. And then if you'd like to use something from the kitchen, like a turkey baster or a spatula, also sticks and some yarn, and a spray bottle if you have it. If you wanna try using marbles, just grab some marbles and spoons, plastic cup, and a pizza box or the top of a cardboard box. Paper plates are handy and use poster board for a large painting. Put on some music and get started. I wanted to see what it was like to paint like Pollock on the floor. So I put down some tarp and the poster board and put paint in a spray bottle. Then I took a glob of green paint. It was quite thick. And there I go, splat. That was a lot of fun. Then I took brown paint and started to splatter it around the edges of the paint. I added red using a stick and dripped and splatted. I didn't have a turkey baster like Pollock, so I used my spatula with yellow paint. That was interesting. Then I used yarn in green paint, and I actually painted with it, touching the poster board, and sometimes dribbling. I decided to mix some of the paints together and make a deep purple and I used a hard brush across my painting. Are you starting to work on your painting? I put blue and green in a spray bottle and made some finishing touches. But wait, I wanted to add some thick paint. So I took a brush and I sprinkled some white paint in the middle and threw out some of the painting. And here's my painting. I hope you learned about some of the tools and techniques Pollock used and create something special of your own. Visit some of the museums online to see more artwork by Jackson Pollock, and there's always more to explore at our library. You'll find books about abstract expressionism, artists, and Jackson Pollock himself, Action Jackson. We hope you had fun and will share some of the artwork you created today.